and let Lauren Hill speak. I just wanted to articulate that Lauren Hill was going to be heard whether or not they let them. The articulation, the language that they use when they say we let them shows how they Turn use that power time dynamic time. and when they use them as a approachable object. Now, let me show you some Lauren Hill. First of all, I would bet on any given day that the app understands and knows Lauren Hill far better than the negative girls on Hill. For example, she says, legal actors, Babylon's benefactors, misquerading agents for the clients, hypocritical giants, morally not compliant, orally armed to do bodily harm, polluted, recruited, and suited judicial dog, and a defense so doesn't make any sense. Hold on. The negative is a defense, right? The firm affirms something, negative defense, right? She said that that defense doesn't make any sense. They get a consequence of escaping the consequence. They escape that consequence. Now, she also identifies that totally judgment for us as a, the defendant is dependent upon the system, the dependent upon the system, in which are, are they identify white supremacy and dependent upon uh, identifying the white supremacy is that identity. She said totally void of judgment, purposely made to twist them, emotional victim, blackmailed by the henchman, framed by intention, and just were by the lynchman. Now, the a negative in what they talk about, the defense only perpetuates to lynchman. Uh, Lauren Hill already identifies this. Into the false witness, letting the accused, pay, uh, planting the seat openly, showing she's being used to the discredit, edit, head for the alleged, smearing the individual, fearing the unsuspected. They fear those things in which we say inside this place that are unsuspected and they can't detect, can't detect for. That's why she said, Oh, I can't rap. Oh, I can't speak back. But I can't say, Oh, I can't answer cards. It shows you how they are uh, linked to the, uh, the Lauren Hill of this expert witness of paid authority, uh, made a priority to deceive the majority. They received the draw. I got this. Uh, the central PM to dodge the dudes for years, hating the process, waiting to return to their careers now. She also says, do we expect the system made for the elect to possibly judge the rent, property, serve, protect, materially corrupt, spiritually above, obviously case, prosperously break up, blind, leading the blind, guilty, never defined, them, get swine, a generation, pure in its own mind, legal distortion, blown up a portion, in vain to seek the truth is obsolete. Now the truth is, we have one as by last time. It shouldn't be difficult for you to say affirmative ballot. The first thing is the one they see only identifies one thing, which they have failed to contest. The war power should not be used against things. In his last speech, he conceded the Judy evidence, which talking about the interpreted identity, which identifies that nigga is not a gender used word. Once he identified that uh, niggas is not a gender used word, he also identified and conceded the fact that war power shouldn't be used against them, meaning that you vote affirmative. All the extra stuff that they talk about, can, uh, all the other, other critiques are uh, uh, can't be embodied through the intrinsic part of the affirmative has been making this whole time. The ass advocacy for war powers identifies how they just, uh, the, uh, what they say, they concede the fact that niggas are not just male showing that we win, even with the affirmation of the acknowledgments of black women, all the advantages like the voices being heard still does nothing for police killing them. Their acknowledgments against black women and black voices that they talk about the hooks evidence identifies most, and, 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 and some of the stuff that they talk about hooks is kind of a mischaracterization. Understand all the advantages that they speak about with the hooks evidence, where they talk about the voices being heard against black men, their voices being heard and the advantages of being heard against black men still does nothing for Marissa Alexander inside my spit. It still does nothing for the oppression of those uh, of, of police violence within those things now. Rejecting the use for the N word doesn't uh, doesn't uh, doesn't change anything. First of all, I didn't find itself the, the fact that we are going against the hegemonic system. I want you to understand this, Judge. When I say the word nigga, it is an opposition. Uh, it's opposition to Bagashi. It's an opposition of white supremacy. The fact the uh, the fact that whether what we say nigga is the advantage of itself. It identifies that the white supremacist that is the only place where a black person, uh, a person that has dark skin, can, can objectify against white uh, white supremacy and say that you can't say something. This is the reason why she says N word instead of nigga. It shows that anything provides a scapegoat war powers to be used against those niggas and especially with the male niggas that we account for the, uh, the black film. But the account the determined identity of nigga looks like hooks. She said it is much easier. Hook said. Her evidence the evidence person said it is much easier to attack gangster rap to confront the culture that pers uh, that produces the need, uh, the, the need for white supremacy. It identifies how the critique of her talking about how misogynist and things that we are which we said as a misogynist is way easier than her critique. White supremacy and police oppressive versus Alexander. Hook says that it is all right to speak inside the violence what is uh, materially rewarded and extended by those white supremacists and capitalists and patriarchy. She says that if they do that, it overdetermines the nigga of a male identity, which our duty evidence identifies. It shows you that when he talks about the competing strategies, no, there is no competing strategy within this debate where war power should not be used against things, and that's final. It shows you that you vote affirmative either way. We said the argument in word is not a reference to the mean is it shows that it shows that he had uh, reason that identity when he says all of a sudden we talk about a side. First of all, our whole ass last year was about a side of Shakur. It is nothing but then our spits the way we all of a sudden talk about anything. All of the the, the big crap when he said, uh, I love to go on to the song to the love for my mother, connected to a struggle till she come in love. Now, now what should I do? It's all talking about the intrinsic identity of how we are complacent inside of understanding what is going on with the black woman. The fact that they have conceded the fact that the black woman is not human means is a prerequisite question to how we deal with being human first before we 
fucking have any rights. It shows you why I was so frustrated that across this because they still talking about voices when you're not even seen as a human. It identifies how the slave master's wife still does not understand that the slave, black woman slave, does not even have an identity in herself as a body rather than just a voice inside of this place. That a commodification does not apply. I understand that hip hop has already been commodified. That is the reason to why playing Lord Hill don't do shit because that is already a commodification. The embodiment and when I come in here and spit, Lord Hill understand what she said inside of this shows how the commodification now judge. Don't think shit was genius about them playing uh, uh, Lauren Hill. That was a, uh, that was an act of whiteness. It shows how they function within that functional object and use those things against the black male. So it's so easy for them to say gangster rap is bad and niggas is bad and go and kill the black man and lynch him from a tree. But it's so uh, but it's so hard for them to identify what has made us non-human, what has made us perpetuate this violence, and what has made white supremacy function. So it shows you how they talk about when I let something. It shows you how they perpetuate those same things. The knowledge doesn't matter. It's interesting when they say knowledge doesn't matter of the non-human. All the knowledge matters within the affirmative. The reason why they lose, reason why you vote affirmative. Ah! Oh.